Dr. David Anderson Hooker, we are just delighted to host you here at Yale, and you've just shared with us an extraordinary lecture uh, at our Yale Youth Ministry Institute. Mm -hmm. You brought us uh, more than 30 years of experience of scholarly reflection and facilitation on peacemaking and reconciliation. And I know that as a college professor, uh, both where you were before and now at your, uh, at your position at Notre Dame, you shared how uh, notwithstanding the ethos of the college, sometimes the students don't quite come equipped from their churches to engage in the kind of loving community you have in mind. Uh, what, will you share with us what, what you see in your classroom? Sure, so one of the things, thank you for having me, I appreciate that. One of the things that I found actually fairly disappointing, um, the students come and they have a craving to do well, to do justice, to go out and do the work, and yet they don't have a skill set or even an analytical framework to have a sense of what they should do. And so they know we're good people and we want to do the work, but then when you ask them what is there to do, what does justice look like, how is peace built, what constrains peace from emerging, they really don't have a good framework for that. And so I'd wonder whether they learned anything, and they talk a lot about their youth ministry and their church experiences and things like this, because so many of them come deeply formed in their faith, and yet it doesn't appear that their faith formation experience includes any real uh, practical approach to uh, peace building to justice, and so they do, they, they have an experience of charity. They know how to manage a food pantry and how to run uh, blankets out to homeless people during difficult periods of the year, and yet they haven't yet experienced what it means to love your neighbor as yourself. How do I understand what that actually entails and what's the analysis associated with that. And I actually think that that's uh, a challenge that should be taken up by their home churches.